Newcastle United, the tune. Kenny is here to take over because Brucey boy is out the door. Don't turn around now. We don't want you anymore. Let's see what we've got to work with here. Then Joe Linton up top. Newcastle's record transfer. Well, definitely worth it, like. We've got Miggy sitting behind him in the centre attack and mid. We've got St Maxima on the left-hand side. One of Newcastle's biggest and brightest talents. Matt Ritchie on the right-hand side. But we will 100% be in the market for a new winger. Centre of the park, we've got Voldemort. John Joe Shelby pairing with Longstaff. Him and Matty are going to be the future of the club. We've got Danny Rose on loan from Tottenham Hotspur. The big man, El Capitano Lascelles and Shaw in the centre-back and Lazaro at the right-back position. We've got Dubravka between the sticks. As for the substitutes, we've got Gale, Hayden, Atu, Fernandez, There's Darlow there, Yedlin and Bentaleb, yet another Sylvester Stallone. Reserves-wise, we've got Matty Longstaff in there. He's got a very bright future. We've got Lejeune. He could always go up top. But the rest of these lads, a lot of them, they're just going to be surplus to requirements. Dead wood that we're going to look to sell on. Because we would need some extra money. 23.9 million to spend. Not exactly too much. Especially considering Mike Cashley wanted 27 million off with by the end of the first window. I don't think so. We're going to look to get through this preseason tournament. Uh, and that didn't end too well though, did it? But we did get an offering for Paul Dummett. I was quite happy for this lad to go. I was never going to be using him. And that meant that we could bring some players into the team. Ethan Ampadu. Welcome to Newcastle, son. First signing over the line. And we're going to sort out that striker situation. Bordu, 12.2 million. Absolute bargain. And the bargains weren't ending there. 7.8 million for Ezekiel Barco. Yes, please. Transfers were out of the way. Getting the press conference done. It was time for the first match. And it was Newcastle versus Arsenal. And the lads were up for it. The fans were up for it. And this is how we would line up. Dubravka between the sticks, Lazaro, Shaw, Lascelles and Rose leading the back line. But Shelby and Longstaff in the centre of the park. St Maxima, Almiron and Barco just behind the new number nine, Bordu. But how would we fare? That was the question. Things got off to the start that you'd imagine. Arsenal with a great ball through, Aubameyang making whoop here. And things weren't looking good for Kenny Leg. He wasn't very happy at all. We did have an opportunity, Sean smashing it, but Leno getting the save. Ball came in, but Ward hit the post. It just wasn't our day, and the lads were feeling it. They weren't very happy with that performance. Not the start of the season we're hoping for, but truly, things could only get better. Or not. But it was time to move on to the next game, away at the Tottenham Hotspur. After a loss to Arsenal and a draw against Norwich, it wasn't the start of the season that we're looking for, but... The lads, they did put in a good performance. Sean hitting the post early on. He was unlucky there, like. And then, this happens. Spurs and Dembele makes what pay. It was 1-0. And it looked like it was going to be yet another defeat for Newcastle United. But St. Maxima was having none of it. Burst down the wing. Slotting it past Lloris to make it 1-1. And Newcastle were en route to getting the first points of the season. Bordeaux did have an amazing opportunity near the end to take all three points. But Lloris, he was on form, able to keep Tottenham in it. And we're looking for our first three points of the season in this one. Newcastle currently in 16th place, not where we want it to be. It would all be about this man though. Could he produce a little bit more magic and help Newcastle to the first three points of the season? It would take with 66 minutes to break Watford down, but it would be St Maxima that would slot one away and put Newcastle into the lead. Not long after that, Bordeaux with a great opportunity. He has knocked off the ball, but he's able to find Voldemort. Sets him up. Little bit of magic. Bordeaux scores his first goal of the season. And you can see how much it meant to him. And the fans absolutely loving it. Look at this celebration, though. Remind you of anyone? Then Watford, they were able to pull a goal back in the 89th minute. But it didn't matter. Because Newcastle were able to hold on. The fans were chuffed with the first win of the season. The lads were absolutely buzzing. And Kenny was happy with his first three points. It was transfer deadline day and there was only one man that I wanted to bring in. We're going in for another striker. It was Moussa Dembele. It would be Joe Linton that would be going in the opposite direction. But 23.8 million. It was money well spent. Welcome to Newcastle United, son. And his debut game would be against Liverpool. Did have a few decent chances early on. Firmino hitting the post. Henderson sending it wide. Not the best, son. 
with it being Newcastle United that would strike first. It was through to Barco and Miggy would put a 1-0 up. Newcastle were flying because after that, ball would come across and it would be Bordeaux. Newcastle's number nine getting on the score sheet yet again. He was starting to get a taste for them goals. But the main question was, would Dembele get a goal on his debut? And Van Dijk crumbling under the pressure, giving away a penalty. And it would be Dembele that would step up. Perfect debut if he gets this goal here. And he's able to slot it past Alisson. No bother whatsoever. And then we would move on to a game against Manchester United. After that amazing performance against Liverpool, we we're going to be looking to do the same thing again. But it would be Manchester United that will go 1-0 up. But well, this is a new Newcastle United. And we weren't lying down. Barco would play the ball across. And it was Bordeaux yet again. Oh, he's got his shooting boots. He is slotting them away for fun now. And if he's not scoring them, he's setting them up. Great ball through to Dembele. It's his first goal in front of the home crowd. And you can tell how much it means to him. Absolutely loving life. But he wouldn't be done. Because in the 76th minute, had his opportunity to put the 3-1 up. And he does exactly that. No chance for De Gea. Dembele, absolutely fantastic son. The big games that just kept on coming. It was Chelsea up next. And the main thing here was who was going to come out on top. Was it going to be Dembele or was it going to be Timo Werner? Both teams did have great opportunities. Werner hitting the post. Just wasn't going to be his day though. Dembele just before the half. Great opportunity but kept. I was able to make the save until he had an absolute nightmare. Dembele was just waiting in the wings to capitalise on that mistake and he made him pay. That would be our last win for a couple of games though. 1-0 loss against Wolves. 0-0 draw against West Ham. But things did start to pick up. 3-1 win against Bournemouth and then a nice 2-0 victory against Aston Villa. We're looking to keep the momentum going in this one as we're getting a visit from the league leaders. It would be Newcastle United going up against Manchester City and we knew it would be a difficult game. But it was all us in the first half. Great opportunities from John Joe Shelby. And probably the best opportunity of the half was from Bordeaux. But Edison was able to pull off the save. It would be Kevin De Bruyne that would capitalise for Manchester City. Putting them 1-0 up. And it did look like they were going to be picking up yet another three points. Until Almiron was able to send St. Maxima. The Saint looking to spoil the party. Able to send a ball past Edison. Making it 1-1. And it was a huge point for Newcastle United. Halfway through the season then, Newcastle United, 5th place, 20 games played, 41 points. European football next season was looking a very big possibility. Manchester City though, they're dominating, not lost a game yet. Liverpool in 2nd on 53 points. Who was going to be winning that Premier League trophy? 